merging the living and the dead. That's what's going on. Are y'all tuning in? Are y'all tuning in? Basically, what's going on, and it's happening in other parallel worlds, not just this illusion. Your DNA that's connected to other things and you could have been in many different forms. You know, you're connected to certain bloodlines. Like I said, you could be connected to your earth mom's bloodline or your father, your earth father's bloodline, or you could be an energy that's from the unknown. Now, that goes back to where I was talking about certain earth mothers, the creators, can create babies without the man. All right? And certain individuals could come from the unknown. And certain individuals, the earth father, some of them think that's their child. And that goes back to the uh, show um, Silly Mori or whatever. And I was speaking on and touching on how women probably, well, not probably, but women on that show swear up and down. They only mess with that individual, but they don't know they carry a special energy inside their womb to create certain things with the parallel worlds, different dimensions. And certain things can come in human form with a special energy. So um, whenever she say, I only mess with him, she's basically telling the truth. But individuals and the programming stuff got y'all thinking that she's all kinds of disrespectful names. You know, y'all think like she's trifling, she's doing other things, messing around, and certain women are telling the truth. They're not messing around. And certain individuals, you know, dudes be like, you know, they find out that's not their baby, and she really, you know, she's really not messing around. Y'all get what I'm saying? Do y'all feel my signals? And it and it's not because she got that special energy inside her womb that created a baby from another dimension or another timeline. Just to put that out. So whenever it comes to the physical realm, whatever bloodline that you connected with, it could be a bloodline from the unknown. It could be your earth father or your earth mom okay and whenever you come into the physical form because we come into many forms but when you whenever you come to the physical form you're basically your physical change with other planets other so some of y'all are getting teleported because you're deep into the many other programs that's connected to the low vibration worlds. So that's the reason why you're seeing a lot of recycled programs. Basically the recycled programs there are, are changing up and y'all notice the so-called time is going by fast. You know, it could be, it could be like, for example, it could be, Moon day that you'll call Monday, the hologram moon. All right. Um, next thing you know is Friday, you know, the so-called Venus that's connected to Friday, you know, names and titles. But, you know, I always say energy and the unknown and stuff like that. But I want you all to feel my signals. You know, it's basically it shifted like our energy shifted just that quick because everything is moving basically in light 
so-called illusion light speed. All right. So um, individuals studying certain things that's connected to other parallel worlds, the, like the low vibration worlds and different systems. And it's all bridge and connected. So you could, your, your soul could be bridged with one of your, either you or somebody that's connected to your DNA. So the names and titles, for example, that y'all connect with, like God's and Jesus, Allah, and all of that mess. Um, y'all put y'all's energy into the shape-shifting numbers, the, the letters. Y'all basically giving that so-called life energy, whatever y'all want to call it. But I say energy, but some of y'all say life. And the programs basically happening in other parallel worlds. You know, that's the reason why on this physical world, they keep talking about the same old program and stuff. Uh, like, for example, I was online, not to get off topic, and um, some dude named Naru Muhammad or something like that, still talking about Malcolm X. How is that helping y'all so? And, you know, and individuals, they're not talking about George Washington and stuff like that because that's on another system. And like I said, that's not the so-called George Washington. That's, the, that's, that's a drawing. That's a sign. That's a symbol. You know, you don't really know what these individuals look like. They're all actors, even the individuals inside the black. And like I said, this is connected to the so-called communities, the system, the names. They're dead, but y'all giving them energy. Y'all do rituals whenever you fight for the community. That's not yours, all right? Um, they have many names, even the, like I said, and I said this before, but I'm getting really deep into it because it's connected to a lot of things that y'all need to be aware of and know. Um, the names on the block your, your the names the contracts that your soul is connected with that you give your energy to it's all over this so-called planet but it's in shape-shifting numbers it's in in english or it could be latin <laughs> but anywho um but i mean with the latin spell attached to it of course and many other things but anywho, um, also um, some of y'all put your energy into the names. Now, if you put your energy into the names, you bring certain things inside of your soul. And certain things can take over. All right? You're on different types of frequencies. And so, for example, for example, whenever you connect to the assigned names and you give your energy into it, um, basically got a curse to it from other parts of the low vibration worlds and the unknown that's all connected together and like I said your your DNA is all over okay and so for example whenever you connect to these names a certain whenever a certain individual like one of your loved ones one of your, one of your relatives Whenever they leave the physical realm, they go out with that assigned name. And whoever is connected to that assigned name, death come into like three. It comes in threes, my apologies. It comes into threes. 
and it could be one of your relatives, it could be your siblings, it could be your earth mom, or it could be your earth father, or something from the unknown from another parallel world it could shift. And it comes into threes because you're giving your energy to that, the, the dead, the dead name, you're giving your energy into it. And it's, it, to, to me, and this is how I feel, and this is my theory, and I've seen certain things, if y'all feel my signals. It comes into threes. And whenever you sign contracts, and you take on that individual's so-called assigned name, you know how, like for example, one of your loved ones, like say, say your earth, earth dad leaves, then two or three months later, the mom leave. Some be like, oh, um, they're, they was heartbroken and all of that stuff. And they make this illusion heaven and hell crap that some of y'all connected with, but that's a bunch of mess. That individual basically carrying whoever's latched on to the names to another low vibration world. And some of them realize that and certain individuals connected to your DNA need, need you, the basically the newer version of you, the new body. They need you to get them out of that mess. So they send certain things through different types of frequencies to you. They bring you in certain areas. That goes back to where I was talking about. Sometimes you shift into certain areas. You know, y'all call it East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, South, North. Y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all feel my signals. And certain houses and stuff. Because certain energies, you know, shift. Do you feel my signals? So, now... There's a lot of the living and dead merged together. And certain frequencies basically picking up on recycled souls. And certain recycled souls got a lot of knowledge. And certain individuals know it. They know what certain areas to hit to snatch that soul. And basically teleport that soul and bridge it to your soul. Program you on another level. Some recycled souls know how to make you still think you're connected to the so-called planet. You don't know where you really are, but they want you to stay stuck to this physical and there's they're draining and sucking your soul and sending many distractions to your soul to keep you distracted. And it could be one of your relatives that's, you know, y'all have the same creator but different bloodlines. And it could be your relative to pick up on another bloodline and causing you confusion and causing you distractions. And it could be your siblings, siblings, or it could be your your so-called earth parents or the unknown. Do y'all feel my signals? So on the physical realm, y'all doing hidden rituals, a shame rituals that's connected to the shape-shifting holograms, and most of it is hol holidays or you you're celebrating something. You're celebrating names and titles that's already dead. So whenever you put your energy into that, you're setting yourself up. You have individuals, and I talked about some of this already, but like I said, I'm getting deep into it. They go to their grave and put their energy into that name. Grandma, grandpa, or the name on the grave 
they're basically bringing spells back to them that's latched on to, to them whenever they go visit the so-called grave. And they could be hypnotizing themselves and certain energies that's connected to the cult groups can take over that vessel or your youngling's vessel. Do you feel my signals? And they start acting like that recycled program. Because certain individuals leave out, they could be connected, they could be really deep into the cult groups, like, you know, like I said, like the Masons or Catholics or the, the list Muslims, the list goes on. You know, they're all connected, but they know how to do the spells and rituals, and they know how to bridge and take over your subconscious whenever you go visit and say certain individuals' names. They're, they're bringing something back to that name. That name is connected to their soul because they merge with the dead. So whenever y'all take on, you know, if y'all give y'all's energy to these last names, because I don't, I'm just connected to all the names and titles. I don't put my energy into it. But if you're, you're connected to it, and that stuff can take over you, and you're connecting with, you're connecting with many things that you're not aware of. Do y'all feel my signals? But some of y'all go visit the graves. And that's not your loved one's name. There's no such thing as names and titles, sounds and vibrations. You're giving your energy to that name. They're no longer assigned to that name. You're gonna basically conjure up something that's from the unknown or something that's connected to the cult groups. Do you feel my signals? So individuals taking it to many levels and certain individuals that's connected to your DNA, some of them can help you advance or some of them going to take your soul and replace you because you're connected to their DNA. So they're gonna re replace you and keep you connected to the different programs. That's why on the physical realm, it's the same old program. Like I said before, and I talked about it, you got to, what your so-called birthdays, you got like, um, what else? Um, the holograms, the holidays, the individual celebrate Black History Month. How is that helping you advance? Because they, they, them individuals was connected to the program in the past present presidents. They all are connected to the program. So how are they helping y'all? How are y'all doing? You know, individuals who want to still talk about JFK or you know, the past president, presidents, uh, it could be Ronald Reagan or Woodrow Wilson or Malcolm X or the, the same old stuff that's on this so-called planet, this corporation, and many other so-called planets, other countries and stuff that your countries, states, whatever y'all want to call it, shape-shifting numbers to me, different types of energies in the unknown. You know, individuals, they stuck on that frequency, but things shapeshift. It's something totally different. But individuals still put their energy into the fake slave stories, the all of that mess. So it's, it's merged together in other low vibration worlds. Some of this stuff is still going on, and you don't even see it. And some of y'all are going to probably connect with individuals that you're supposed to connect with. And it's going to be like 
on many different levels. It's just going to be out of nowhere because you're going to shift on many levels with that individual. And then you got the other individuals that's on the low vibration world that's connected to the low frequencies, the, the politicians, the, the cult groups, religion, and all of that stuff. They all going to merge and get shifted to the unknown and be deep into the program and then and like I said before they're not going to escape the physical world they're not because they're too deep into it so you know I just want to give you all something to think about you know some of this stuff I touched on already but I wanted you all to feel my signals I wanted to get real deep into it I wanted to get deep into it so y'all can feel me because this system is basically changing. You know, it, it's changing on like, you know, and it's it's speeding up on many levels to catch up with other disturbed systems. Certain systems basically running other systems. And our DNA is connected to it. But it's up to you to shift your DNA from certain things. And switch it up and shift. Unlock your souls.